Yo, what's up guys, it's Xverius. Welcome to all the latest and greatest Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news and info. Today for you guys, I got some updates on the clan type thing that is going to be coming to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, you guys do know that every single Call of Duty has kind of changed it up a bit. Call of Duty Ghost is the latest one and they allowed you to have a clan that was both on PS3, Xbox 360, PS4, and Xbox One. So it didn't matter what network you were a part of, you were all in the same clan. And there's actually a few updates that Beachhead Studios, the person who kind of runs the whole uh, clan app and the whole thing for Call of Duty, they kind of did an update what it was going to be like for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And that's what we're going to be covering today. Now, before I actually jump into the information though, guys, if you guys do enjoy the video, then make sure to slap a like and a favor on the video, guys. It does get it out there. Helps my channel grow a ton. So make sure to slap a like and support the channel. And also, if you guys are new and you enjoy Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news, info, and everything in between, then make sure to subscribe so you guys won't miss any info. I'm getting this out to you guys as fast as possible, so make sure to subscribe so you guys won't miss any updates. Now, with that said, let's talk about the new update that's going to be coming to the app, as well as what it's going to be like for you guys that do run your own clan. Now, the update that they did give us is that there are going to be significant changes to the apps, and the reason that there's going to be a change, which some of you guys might see as negative, is something that they needed to do in order to optimize even better the app and just the way the clans run for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now the big negative thing that you guys might see is that now if you guys have your own clan at the moment and say you're only PS3 or you're only Xbox 360, this is not going to affect you. But if you are a clan that you were multi-platform, multi-network, then this is going to affect you. Now you are going to be able to carry over your clan members, but you can only do it for one platform. So if you guys are on Xbox or on PlayStation, then you're going to have to make a clan dedicated to that platform. I know it really sucks. A lot of uh, different clans actually have both a PlayStation division and an Xbox division, but now you can only have one. There's no real explanation that they said. They only said that the reason they were doing it was for better optimization and just overall having a much better experience. We'll see what happens with that. But anyway, so the way that it works is the leader actually chooses which network they're going to be with. So they go to the apps, they go, they choose the option, and on September 25th, you'll be able to do it. Basically, you get to choose, are you gonna be a PlayStation clan or an Xbox clan? And once you do it, there's no going back. As for the members who are gonna be in the opposite clan, they're either going to have to make their own clan or they're going to have to join a different one. So it really sucks for the people who are on opposite ends of this. If it was a big multi-network clan, now it's going to have to be only one. I think honestly, this is really something that is really upsetting for some clans. I know there's a lot of the bigger ones that really did really well for clan wars is really going to affect them since now they're going to have to make two separate clans. Who knows, maybe they'll do one like Clan PlayStation or, and Clan Xbox. We'll see what happens with that. So let me know, guys, if you guys think this is a smart move, if it leads to better optimization and overall having a better clan experience, or do you think it's just dumb that they actually had to forego being able to have a multi-network clan? But anyways, guys, I wanted to get this info out to you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then make sure to slap a like and a favor on the video, guys. It does get it out there. helps the channel grow, and it helps me a ton. And also, if you guys are new and you enjoy these kinds of videos, then make sure to check out my channel. A link is down in the description below. It's youtube.com slash OGXrays. Check out my channel for all the latest and greatest Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news and info. Make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss some content. But anyways, guys, until next time, like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new. I'm Mixers. I'm out. Peace.